Here is another video of Watson Analytics by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to talk about assemble options in IBM Analytics. <clears throat> this assemble option is provided to create dashboards and stories and you can share this dashboard or stories with other users, provided you have the edition you have bought from IBM Watson Analytics. You can create multiple layouts or themes and a variety of data visualization charts are available in the assemble section. Also, the story would give you a timeline driven story creation for exploration and analysis to share with higher management or your peers. <clears throat> so let's see how the assemble works. In the last video, if you can recall, we did collect a lot of visualizations which we had created to be, to be part of our dashboards. So we go back, we save this exploration and we go back to the welcome page. And on this page, I'm going to click on this assemble. <clears throat> it's it's going to ask me to select a data set. I'm going to select sales data refinement. The first option is to select a template. So I'm going to select a tabbed free form template and I'm going to name my dashboard and I'm going to say sales dashboard. Click on create, which is on the far right. And you can see that a data tree similar to the exploration tab is available. And at the bottom, you see the columns which are, which are available for analysis. The navigation of column at the bottom, you see this arrows. You can take your mouse and scroll like this. You will see all the columns which are available for analysis or create dash for creating dashboards. So first of all, on this, make sure that you are in the edit menu. This edit icon on top makes sure that you are in edit option. This is non-editable option. And once you click it, you can see it changes purple. And that's why that's when you analyze or you start making changes to the dashboard. First of all, I'm going to make use of the collection which I had from my explore area. <clears throat> so I'm gonna to go to the collections and add my first visualization which we created and it's gonna bring the visualization in. I can resize it to whatever I think looks best. And you can drag and move it and place it on the tab. I'm gonna bring in second visualization, which is this, and I'm gonna place it very close to this and I'm going to align it like this. Do I want to bring in my third? Maybe not. So let's bring in only two and you can see that the there are two visualizations which I have created. Let's make it more interactive. 
to make it more interactive, I'm going to add some filters. So from the data tray at the bottom, I'm going to add country like this and I'm going to minimize it and put it as an option to select. I'm going to add product category also and I'm going to lay it next to the country. Next, I'm going to bring in ear and I'm going to also add it in this area. I want to make sure that there is no scroll in the dashboard and you arrange it as to make sure that to avoid any scrolling because for dashboards uh, scroll is not really preferable. to give it a bit of space here all right so all right so you can see that these are my options I want to find out what's in my cleaning systems how does the whole thing change there you go that's how the cleaning system are across these two dashboards. This chippers, I can get out of this edit mode by clicking on this so that this is how your dashboard would look like. It's so much interactiveness, it's been, it, it provides so much interactiveness to this whole dashboarding experience. It's unbelievable. It's amazing that how, and you must have followed this video, you would have clearly seen that there was very little of coding. In fact, no coding. It's just configuration. As I mentioned earlier, Watson Analytics is cloud-based and all the processing is happening on the cloud. This tab, I can, first of all, go to the edit mode and rename this tab. I'll say analysis one. In my next set of videos, I'm going to show you how to create much more advanced analytics and stories in Watson. Thank you for watching.